Okay, here's another uh, differential equation question. It says, during a chemical reaction, a compound is being made from two other substances. At time uh, t hours after the start of the reaction, x grams of compound has been produced. Assuming that at x is zero initially, i.e. when time is zero, okay, and that the following holds that the number, the rate of change of the amount of compound is equal to 2x subtract 6 multiplied by x uh, subtract 3, show that it takes approximately 7 minutes to produce 2 grams of the compound. Explain why it's not possible to produce 3 grams of the compound. Okay, so what this equation is telling, here's a differential equation, and effectively what we're going to do is we're going to have to solve it. Now, just think what it's saying. It's saying the rate at which the, the compound, the grams of the compound is being made, okay, is equal to two times uh, x subtract six, x subtract three. So we can try and solve this equation, uh, this differential equation, to find x, how much compound, in terms of t. So for part a, let's just go about by solving. So we have dx by dt is equal to two, x subtract six, x subtract three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate variables and integrate. So as always, separate variables and integrate. Now I'm going to uh, color in yellow what I want moved to the left hand side. So I want the following going to be on the left hand side. Okay, and I'm going to leave this and then move this on the right hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to integrate. So my next uh, statement would therefore be that one over x subtract six, x subtract three dx is equal to two dt, and I'm integrating both sides. Okay, now when I integrate uh, this, this is going to be easy. This is obviously going to be two t plus some constant. Now this side is more difficult. So this side here, one over x subtract six, x subtract three dx is gonna be something I'm gonna to have to do some separate working. It's going to be partial fractions. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna try and put the, this in partial fractions, one over x subtract six, x subtract three. In partial fractions, it's going to be a over the first factor, x subtract six, plus b over the second factor, x subtract three. And then my next line will say therefore that one is the same thing as a x subtract three plus b x subtract six. And I'm going to let x equal three, and I'm gonna get one is equal to um, negative three b, which is telling me that b is therefore negative a third. And I'm going to let x equal six, and I'll get one is equal to three a, so therefore a is equal to positive a third. Okay, and then I'm ready to uh, replace this integral here. So this integral will actually be, um, a is going to be, the way I'm gonna write it, I could just write it like this, a third over x subtract six, take away a third over x subtract three, with respect to x is equal to 2t plus c, that right hand side's been integrated. It's neater for me if I factorize out the third, that's why I left it like this, because now this integration here is going to be nice and straightforward for me to perform, because they're two simple LUNs now. So keep the third where it is, square brackets, and let's integrate. This is going to be LUN of modulus x subtract six, take away LUN modulus x subtract three, and what I can do is I can combine these LUNs, so it's going to be a third LUN of x subtract six over x subtract three is equal to two t plus c. Okay, so I've solved the differential equation. At this point, it might be useful to put in the x is zero when t is zero boundary to find this constant here. Okay, so when x is equal to zero, t is equal to zero. So we're gonna sub that in and we're gonna get ourselves a third LUN. Well, we're gonna have zero take away six, which is negative six, over negative three, which is two. So we're gonna get a third LUN two 
is equal to 0 plus C. So C is clearly a third ln 2. So therefore, we've got a third ln x subtract 6 over x subtract 3 is equal to 2t plus this c, which I've now found is plus a third ln 2. And that's the particular solution to my differential equation. Okay? So, um, show that it takes approximately 7 minutes. It would be nice if t was the subject of the formula here. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to subtract a third ln 2 off both sides. So I've got a third ln of x subtract 6 over x subtract 3 subtract a third ln 2 is equal to 2t. And if I divided both sides by 2, well, if I could combine these first, I could factorise out the third, and I've got ln x subtract 6 over x subtract 3, take away ln 2 is equal to 2t. Now, subtracting these ln's is the same as dividing, so I could write that as a third ln of x subtract 6, x subtract 3, um, and I could just put a 2 there, uh, is equal to 2t, and I could divide by 2. So it would be a sixth ln x subtract 6 over 2x subtract 3 is equal to t. Now the question has asked me, uh, show it takes approximately 7 minutes to produce 2 grams of compound. So for 2 grams of compound, x must be equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, I sub that in, I'd have a third ln of uh, 2 take away uh, 6, which would be negative 4, over 2 times 2 take, uh, 2 take away 3 is negative 1, which is going to be equal to, if I tap that in my calculator, that's a sixth ln of 2. So type in a sixth ln 2 and you get yourself um, that t is therefore equal to it's 0 0.1155 but that's how many hours so if I want to work out how many minutes 0 0.1155 multiplied by 60 is giving me 6.93 minutes, which is approximately equal to 7 minutes as required, okay? So I've at last done that part A for 10 marks. Now, explain why it's not possible to produce 3 grams of compound for the next part, for part B. Let's look at our, our answer here. Why can I not put in 3 grams of compound by looking at this here? So if time... Our solution to the differential equation was a 6 ln of x subtract 6 over 2x subtract 3. Well, you can see by looking at this, look at the bottom of in here, okay? If t was to approach 3, then this, uh, this here would approach infinity. And so that, sorry, not as t, um, if x approach 3, if x approach 3, okay, then this whole thing here would approach infinity, so t would approach infinity. And that is telling you that you can't, therefore you can't have 3 grams because it would take infinitely long, okay? So as this would get closer and closer to 3, this would be like dividing by zero, so it would be ln of a massive number, which is a massive, which is infinity. It's telling you time is infinite, so it's saying it takes infinite time to produce three grams, so you can't have three grams, and we're done.